main differences between this new model, the Hornet, and a model that's been really, really good, uh, a good seller, the, uh, the Shadow, is really the outline. The guys that want to ride a uh, board that's a little bit more fishy, um, a little fuller nose, this would be a perfect board for them because it links, it connects from outside to inside, it generates speed like all your typical fishes. Um, real unique to this board is we did this uh, elevated E-wing and um, what that does is it helps bring up the edge further up the board and uh, having the wing drop off like that, it, it really brings a nice smooth transition to the turn. It's a killer way to do a wing and um, I found it to, um, to really um, feel seamless in the turn whereas sometimes wings feel very abrupt in the turn. This feels very seamless but still does its job. This overall design, the Shadow, you know, is a really, really killer seller. But, you know, maybe, maybe this isn't the design for you, even though this is a great utility board, almost like a quiver killer. You know, you might be thinking maybe something with a little less nose, a little bit more performance, but a board that generates a speed, a lot of speed. So that's really what the Hornet does, is it has a great um, outline. Um, now that uh, guys like Dan Reynolds and Kelly and a number of surfers are riding boards with more surface area and boards that uh, generate a lot of speed, this is one of those, uh, those boards that you can still surf it very vertical. It's crazy universal, but is still uh, performance minded where you can take that narrower nose and fit it more into the pocket just like you want out of your performance board. But what this board does do is it generates a grip load of speed. We set this board up as well as a lot of the models in the Bonsol line with five boxes. So you have the option of, um, you know, riding as a four fin, a tri fin, um, you know, sometimes even 20s with a little small center fin. So, you know, fins are really um, a huge deal, and especially in multi fin boards, I almost look at it as half the board. 40 to 50 percent of the board because you can really tune in a board by the fins but these two models great great uh, quiver to have out of just two different kinds of boards so the difference between Kehana and other boards is really the flex pattern you know when, when you don't really have the background of riding different kinds of boards or different uh, applications it's hard to say the, the difference between an apple and an orange until you actually try it. So what you're trying to get out of the Kehana is something that's very flexible and durable at the same time. And that's usually an oxymoron. But we found that in this application, it's very flexible and light and pretty strong. Okay, what I got here is my Hornet model finished. And so it has a really awesome look to it. Uh, the, the mechanical benefits when you gloss this board and polish it out is you get all the resin to bind, bind together and it makes it really strong, but still crazy flexy. So this, uh, and also in this, in this uh, board, you'll see these rail channels. What the rail channels really do is they stiffen up the board so that you have some stiffness in, in your bottom turn, but you still have good torsional flex. So it's a controlled flex, if you will, or taking some of the flex out. So it, this board right here, we got the finished product. Beautiful. The Hornet in Kehana technology. Mm -hmm.